So let's start writing our logic to save data into the database. We know now we can uh, populate the data when we click on the update button. Now when I press on the save the changes, it is going to give us an error because it is going to send the ID of the test and ID of the test does not exist on the database because it is string as well. It, will, it is going to call the update function here. When it call the update function, it is going to send the ID as well. If I remove the ID from here, now uh, I will remove the ID. Now I will just die and dump request all and then I will come back refresh the page this time if I save the changes again it is going to give us an error because we have not set the form uh, for our update the meta to the patch because when you update the form in Laravel it the meta should be patch which uh, otherwise it will give us the same error now I will, I will come here and uh, just change the method here and our form you know our method is here the, the method should be post here but you know that html5 does not support the method of uh, uh, patch if you write here so that's why in laravel you can write a uh, method field here as patch when you write it this time if i come back refresh my page this time save the changes as you can see you can send the data and die and dump all of this title and import if you want to see if whether it's working or not let's say this is css3 or let's say this is php and i just change it php and laravel save changes now as you can see it is php and laravel it is going to send the new data now we can take new data and save it into the database that is the easy part you can come here instead of this one let's say we will return it back after updating as well when it update the data we will return back i will save it here for now i will just uh, use the same category class here as you know update but i will put it request all it will take all the data and update it on the, our database and then return back it is that much easy so far it should work for us if i come refresh the page let's say we will change it to le php and laravel save it ah uh, yes again we have an error update should be called statically okay like this it is not going to work as you know so it should uh, find the the category we want to save which which category you want to save which category you want to update the data that's why it is not going to work like that so for this one we must send the id of the category as well when we send the data if i come to the form here i can just write input type hidden and we will name it category id like this okay the name is category id and it has a value of well i can just put the category id here how i will do that you know we have the category here and i can just write the category id here if i just write it gory id so let's see if it is going to work for us because it should put the category id here so far it it should not work if i come here refresh the page oh yeah it is going to give us an error because it, it does not know what is the category that you you want to put here so we should put the category id as well when someone click on the button it should send us the category id as well so we will put the value of this as empty and then we will populate it when someone click on the button so one more field here for the model and data i will write the cat id something like this anything you want you can put i will use cat id here it will put the ids here and then when someone click on the 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 form it should take the data i will just 
make it to cat underscore id here cat id it is the data and now i will just use this data for our input okay what was we didn't give it an id we when we select we should it should have an id as well so i will come to the form again not uh, here i think it was right there yeah uh, okay it has a name it must have an id as well id of cat id because we will select it with javascript here in our master page we select that and we put the value of cat id inside that this time if i come and refresh that it should have the uh, the proper id inside that so far it is not going to give us an error when i click it must provide the id as well if i click here php we have all of those we have category id and you know the value is for the id is cat id the name is category id now we have the name here when i post the data it will post the name of category id as well for us that's why when i come to the controller here right here in the category controller i can just uh, remove this for now i'll use i'll just uh, make a category variable equal to category find or fill when i use find or fill it is going to search whether we find we can find that or not if it can find so it will uh, pass the variable to the category and just take that category for us for now i will use the request what was the name of that you know the name was category underscore id as you know here is the category underscore id it will take that data and it will search on the database and find only that category and then it will store it to the category now i can take that category and update it like this this is uh, and i will request all just uh, this much simple we are not using any validation as well this time if i come here refresh the page for now okay we have an i unexpected category here so we did not put semicolon there maybe refresh it now if i click on the php and laravel save changes as you can see yeah it saved the changes on the database if i refresh it it is working just fine and if i update the next one let's say it is css3 and html5 you will learn css3 and html5 here save it now it can save data to the database and it will return us back to the same page as you can see now it is not a single page application but it is working like single page application we are not going to use any ajax request to query the data but it is almost the same if you want to have a simple application like this this is going to help you build your application with uh, just javascript bootstrap and the model window this is fine for this one in the next video we will learn how you can use delete when i press the delete it should not directly delete the, the data it should again show as a model window a confirmation that really you want to delete this if you want to delete this then it should delete the data thank you for watching and see you in the next video